Hey everybody, how you doing today? Superfiend here. Welcome back to our legendary Tomb Kings campaign. We are playing as... Where is he here, the big guy? Okay, we gotta let him say his thing. Uh, yes, the Grand Hero Font Content! That's who we're playing as. Uh, this is the Vortex map. We have a rebellion up here, and let's just uh, let's just start this off with like the real simple actions. We want to go wipe this rebellion out. This is our second army that we just got recently, and ooh, really? Yeah, we'll just auto resolve it. Oh man, look at that! Our skeletons took a beating. Don't care. Don't care, and I'm not gonna fight that. Uh, did we keep all the war machines? More or less. More or less. And then let's see. We'll just bring in some more skeleton spears. We got that second army. Uh, you can see our research here is still at 94%. Why 94%? We haven't completed any of these, have we? Why is it Why is it down? Why is it not 100? Uh, anyways, we completed all this stuff on the end. So we also have a higher global recruitment capacity and a global recruitment uh, duration reduction by one turn, which means we could basically recruit like seven, seven units per turn, something like that. And we do have the whole, uh, the whole settlement here. We've got the campaign movement range, edict or commandment, whatever you want to call it right now. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking we want to kind of maybe head down here and hit this settlement, Sulfurets. Or if we could like get around the corner here, maybe hit Soldier Tor's capital. The problem is this settlement is, or this province is just rife with chaos corruption. It's overflowing with chaos corruption. And also, if we get down here and we, like, take this territory, it's going to bump us right up against Heshwaddle. And then we'll have lizards that want to fight. Oh, no, no, no. Wrong person. I don't want peace with you. I want I want potentially peace with Heshwaddle. Where are they at in here? I, I cannot figure out why these guys are so mad at me. Why are they so upset? This is silly. There's no reason for them to be this mad. I mean, it is improving, so at least we got that. But, whatever. Oh, dude, we could we could hit this uh, right now on this turn. So, let's see. This is just under 50%. Ooh. The sack value is zero. Oh, well, that's, that's not good. That's terrible. Uh, let's see. And if we cruise up to, like, right here, it becomes 53... 50, okay, 53, and let's... Are you serious? Are you serious? Look at this. I have 53% movement range. And what do you know? Uh, rating stance requires 50%. I have 53% left. Like, I, I, I've seen on Reddit where people are complaining <laughs> where, like, it'll be exactly, and then it won't give it to them, but 53%, and I can't switch? Come on. This is, this is, like, this is ridiculous, some of this uh, stuff. So, anyways, here's what we'll do. We'll pull back into our settlement. We'll go into an ambush stance. If we're lucky and they have an army in here, you know, it'll, like, pop out and force march all the way up to here, and we'll just squish them uh, on our next turn. And, I mean, that's about as much as I could hope to do with that, right? I mean, what a pile of nonsense. What a pile of nonsense. Now, in here, what do we want? Do we want a little bit of public order for 225? 50 income per turn is really not going to be that much, right? Um, you know, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do just a teensy-weensy bit of public order per turn. Uh, I don't want to, like, we need a lot of money to get this thing going up. I don't want to upgrade this settlement, but at the same time, we have the walls up here. Um, if we can, like, uh, knock Sildra Tor down, like, pretty low, uh, we're going to want walls in here while we go up and try to attack the ancient city of Quintex, which, yeah, they're still occupying it. So, I don't know, maybe, maybe we'll go ahead and we'll just start working on that. And it seems like a decent idea. I don't know. Okay, let's, like, come over here with this uh, mage. We're still just uncovering people. Yeah, come on. Come on. You can do it. And damage building. And then, like, that's it. That's our turn. How exciting. 
How exciting. This is a very slow uphill start. We have a lot of jars, um, which we could actually, if we complete one of these, which we're down the one here, uh, two turns on this one, nine turns over here, but we could use these jars to easily get like a Lich Priest, a Necrotech. Uh, over here, it would also be a Lich Priest. Um, but really what I want the jars for is in here. I want 800 jars and 10,000 in our treasury because then we can get another army. Uh, but we're going to need some better buildings. Otherwise, that army is just going to be basic skeleton uh, spearmen and skeleton archers or skeleton swordsmen. It's, it's not going to do us very good. So, anyways. None of that matters if we just sit there at the uh, the end of the turn babbling and don't actually progress the campaign forward. So, we got to click that button. How y'all doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Well, I, I guess. Uh, what do they want? Uh, uh, no. Uh, it was my kindergartner's last day of school. I went to go pick her up, uh, drove her through in and out We got home, and then my car wouldn't start, so I couldn't go back to work today. I'm probably going to have to take work off tomorrow so I can get my car into the, uh, the dealership. I'm going to have to have it towed in. Thank goodness for AAA. Uh, but that's, uh, that's how my day is mostly gone. And, and still, you know, it's still a pretty decent day. So, and, it, and it's hot. It's warm today. Oh, my goodness, it's so warm. Uh, let's see. You know what? We don't need the ultra awesome global recruitment right now. It's already down to minus six. Uh, maybe, maybe we should do public order plus five. Because then with this here, it'll be positive. Uh, we, we need to be able to push ahead and like, uh, knock these guys out a little bit. Or at least try to sack this or something. I, I don't know. Um, but we can't do that if we have to come back here and defend against a rebellion. And we do have the garrison building here, so that's good. Let's see, just uh, some more spearmen then. And let's see, what do we want to do? Like, man, we can move so far. But the problem is, the problem is... Are you serious? They don't have an army up here? They got nothing? No, that can't be right. Where are they? What are they doing? Oh, look at all that rating income. We are going to be so rich. <laughs> all right. Let's go move our hero. And boop, we'll come down this way. We're keeping an eye on the dynasty research over here. We do not want it to complete. And the reason for that, of course, is we want to get all the main little dynasty lines like down to one or two turns before we start completing them. Because, again, every time we complete one, uh, it reduces our recruitment or our, I'm sorry, our research rate by 30%. And so we really kind of don't want to do that. We want to get them all low while we currently have 100% research rate and then just like unlock them quickly as we need to. Okay, there's their army. There's their army. Now, I hope they're not up to Blackguard yet. Uh, we're 47 turns into the campaign. They could very well be getting close to uh, Blackguard. Which would kind of not be cool. Can we see what they have? A couple of repeater bolt throwers. Never. Reaper bolt throwers. The high elves are the repeater bolt throwers. Because they got one unit of black guard in here. Oh, boy. If we try to attack with this force... Now, we don't have our hero titan anymore. We do have a couple screaming skull catapults. Now, they're in force march right there. So... Let's see. Now, we get all the way up here. Is this done yet? Public order... Public order is zero. Uh, corruption, taxes, stabilizing. I don't think it's going to be positive anytime soon. A couple more uh, spearmen. Now, if we move up to uh, the line between these two settlements, this settlement and this settlement is like, like right about here. Maybe we'll be able to get a little bit more money rating right there. Maybe, yeah, 451. Look at that. That's pretty good. That's better. What's it cost to repair this? That's a demolish button. 220? Nah, we'll let it we'll let it finish because we need 4,000 to upgrade it in the anyways, so. Hero not moved. You get to do this again. Whee! Faction encountered. We did find a couple factions. Nagarith Diranak. Very good. And where's our where's our stuff over here? We get to damage buildings. Okay, we don't want this to finish, but we are keeping an eye on it. And that's it. That's all we could do. 
And we have to hope that the lizards are going to be willing to take peace with us soon. Do not bother me. Yeah, you're going to beg for peace. We're going to decline. Because really being hostile towards Soldier Tor is the only way we're going to get Heshwaddle to be happy with us. Uh, sure, hinder replenishment. That forces uh, full strength anyways. Okay, here we go. We're going to go for it. Yes! Okay, good. Now we don't have to worry about being at war with them. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. Uh, now, if we go and we take this right now, that could maybe get us a trade agreement with Heshwaddle. If we get this settlement right here. And what about here? Public order plus one. Good. So it's going positive. Uh, at the same time, they're not recruiting over here yet. And we really need to get up here. So I think we're going to go this way. And we'll go into a rating stance. Oh, man. I wish we could get just a little bit closer. Would we win on the battlefield if they tried to attack us? Uh, I'm inclined to think that we would lose, and we do need to wait for this second army to uh, get up here. So let's uh, let's cruise off this way. Is this Nagareth here? It is. It is. Uh, let's see. Oh, and then we we could um uh, mm, 1500. 1500. Okay, you know what? We're going to do it because we, we really do need the public order. And there's no uh, resources in here, so this is as good as any other settlement to uh, build that. There's no resources in that one. And actually, none of these have any resources. Our starting province sucks. I guess that's a good military province. So we'll, like, scooch up to there. Yes, okay. And we got five turns left on that dynasty research. I don't know if I should call it research or dynasty something or other. We got a little small cult of pleasure force roaming around over here. After we uh, knock out Sildrator or get rid of them, we want to turn on this ancient city of Quintex up here for the um, the book and the gash. That's, oh, dude, they abandoned it. <gasps> that's it. We could take it on the next turn. That's That's perfect. And we should be able to take it with just the one army, I would think. And this guy here, let's see. Uh, let's get replenished troops. Now, if we switch into a regular stance, we could take this and get this like on this uh, on this turn. That would be easy. And then I think we can just get this right away. I think we could do this. We're gonna try. We're gonna try, and we're gonna try it with just the one force. Uh, this is a this is a favorable settlement layout because we can kind of deploy over here, and and this is the there's one tower right here that can threaten us, and we can pretty much just avoid all the other towers. It's strange to me that CA made some settlements like this and other settlements not like this. It kind of makes you wonder, like, how did they choose which ones would have this terrible design and which ones wouldn't? Uh, we're not going to gamble. And we'll just, uh, oops. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, we're going to turn off fire at will on these guys. Turn off fire at will here. This is like ugly deployment, but whatever. Hey, we'll just move everybody up. Okay, we're gonna speed this up here. We wanna be outside the uh, line of fire of this tower right here, because they may they may um, man this tower at some point during the battle. Now, we don't wanna take damage from it. In fact, we may want to think about hitting it with our war machines right now. Hmm. No, we'll wait, we'll wait. Uh, let's take these three archers and just set them right here. 
This is a favorable firing position. And we'll bring Katep and what's this guy's name? Intef. He's our Necrotect. We could heal Constructs with him, but we don't have any Constructs because of a, uh, a poor display in the last battle. Um, our poor. Oh, we're in a chariot with Katep, with Katep, so we can't uh, we can't mount the walls either. We can't climb. Well, hopefully that's not going to be too much of a problem for us. All right, let's uh, let's start firing here on these guys. See how much, oh, that's good damage. Look at that. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that. That's excellent damage. Yay! Okay, and then we'll wait a second. Uh, stop firing. Stop firing. Can we get some cor uh, Corsairs or somebody up, up here? No? Okay, well, we got this unit right there. Okay. We should be doing good damage to them. Good. What's our ammunition now? We've used like half our half our ammunition though. That's a lot, right? That's a lot of ammunition. I'd be happier if we could get some of these melee troops up here or these guys. These guys are gonna be kind of a bear. Uh, will our war machines target these guys nicely? Or are they gonna do that thing where they like wanna move up there? It's obstructed? Really? I don't believe you. Uh, let's. Okay, I'm not very good at this. Uh, where are they at? Okay. Let's just like... Uh... What? Left, left click won't fire? Oh, okay. Oh, am I too close? Maybe I'm too close. Let's see. No, that could be good. That, that, may, that may hit him a little bit. Oh, that landed right in him. Uh, but I don't want to do this. I don't want to fire every single shot manually. I don't. I don't want to. Let, let's do just a couple more. Oh, that was a that was bad. That needed to be a little bit higher. Okay, there we go. Just a little bit higher. A little bit over. Not much. Let's see if that's better. That looks like, like we got a good line right there, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Let's do one more. It's kind of fun. I don't usually control my artillery manually. Now, this should kind of like go a little bit farther than the other one and hit them on the, the downside there. Yes. That's exactly where I wanted that one to land. A little bit further if we can, though. Let's try. Oh, yeah, that should be good. Oh, now, now this one, like, way overshot. That really wasn't that much difference between that one and the one before. And then now this one will be, like, way too short. Watch. It'll land on the steps again. No. Uh, pretty good. Let's see. Let's see what kind of damage we're doing here. Uh, apparently we're doing... Oh, that's a death hag. Oh, okay. Oh, we got a whole unit right there we can shoot. Here, we'll shoot these guys. That's what we'll do. See, playing around with the war machines gave them time to get into position here so that we could uh, melt their faces. And there we go. That's good damage, except now we are like, we're almost out with our poor uh, skeleton archers. Stop! 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 Okay, now we got some Corsairs. Good. Oh, yeah. Line up right there. Oh. Whoa! Okay, they, they've manned the tower. What are they shooting? Uh, chariots. Are they gonna hit our war machine? They're gonna hit our war machine. <laughs> yeah, they're they're after the war machine. Oh boy, do we want to go up here with our heroes, or do we want to try to uh, destroy this tower? Uh, I don't know. I kind of feel like we need to destroy the tower, right? Can we climb up here? We can't climb up on this side. Okay, let's see. Let's send a unit of spe uh, a unit of swords. Let's send these guys up. And we'll see how the AI reacts to that. Maybe we can get some heroes up there. Maybe we could send multiple units of swords up. I don't know, we'll see. Let's put the next one right here. Get them all ready. 
And okay, good. Now they're off the tower. Now they're back on the tower. It's the Black Guard now that are on the tower. Uh, if anything, I'd like to be able to use the War Machines to whittle down uh, the Black Guard. I don't know what they're saying. Uh, let's see. Are they shooting these guys? Let's send some chariots over here on this door. Or maybe maybe we want to do the other door, like way over here. Let's just get the chariots over there. They'll take a while to knock that door down. Yeah, let's just be patient here. Yeah, let's get our skeletons in there. Come on, skellies. Get up there. And let's see. Yeah, that's not going to do anything. Let's uh, let's swing around the corner here with Katep, and we can throw a vortex down on these guys. These guys are losing their combat, so we got that going for us. There's a vortex for you guys right there on top of you. It's gonna do any damage? Let's see here. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, you know, a little bit of damage. Okay, bring him back over there. Uh, let's see. If we were to march some skeletons like way over here, they take they take a lot of damage from this uh, tower on the way over. So we can't do that right now. We gotta wait. Uh, who's in combat? You guys? Let's buff them again. Is this a one-time use or this is every uh, every ninety seconds? Oh, it causes damage to sell. Oh, they both have it. Our wounds of magic is that low? Or our, our power reserve. All right, well, we'll just do that. Whoa. That really did increase by a lot, didn't it? It was empty, and now it's over half. So that's that's actually pretty good. Nothing to scoff at. Uh, let's see. Let's more physical resist here. They're off the tower again, so let's scooch these guys over. And let's uh, fling some more missiles into them. We want to save these guys because they have armor sundering. Yes, they do. They have armor sundering. I think we want to save that for the Black Guard, wherever they are. They're over here right now, currently, right there. There they are. Oh, look at this. This one unit of skeletons. Getting it done. Hey, that's good. Go skellies. Go skellies. I really am curious, though, if we would do better by trying to smash this gate and just come in right here. Uh, they're currently off that tower. Let's take these three, like, way over here. Let's see if we can get them over there. Oh, Blackguard's coming. They changed their mind. They changed their mind. They didn't want to come over here, after all. Uh, let's see. Can we get our War Machines? Like back right here. This is kind of like the uh, the siege I fought yesterday in uh, in my Dorf campaign. It was it was really bad. I felt kind of guilty playing it that way, but um, we need to get this settlement. Okay, we need to get it like right now. Just like a nice little one shot. Uh, where are they? Ah, oh, darn it! They're back on that tower. They're off the tower. Make up your minds. If we could start hitting the black guard, oh, they're gonna fire. Yes, hit the black guard. Melt the black guard, please, please fire, please fire. Okay, we got the gate open. Let's go hit those guys in there. War machines, please be firing. Come on, black guard, hit the black guard. Oh, I heard him. I heard him. Yes. Oh, yeah, drop it all right in there. Yes. Uh, skeletons, like, come back this way, please. Ooh. 
Let's see, who do we want to shoot here? How about the Dark Shards? Ah, they're shooting us a little bit over here. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. We can handle that. We're going to use up pretty much all of our magic reserves. Just buffing this one unit of skeletons. Now, if we can get up here... And if these two chariots... Can kill Del Nina... Oh, look at the Blackguard unit. Yes, we're not going to have to face them in combat. Uh, let's get our next unit of skellies up right here. And uh, let's go ahead and just let these guys take a little bit of damage to get some more magic reserve, power reserve, whatever you want to call it. Oh, yeah, that black guard unit is getting getting crushed. Let's see, what about here? Can we hit... Let's hit those unit, that unit of Corsairs. Just want to keep all this fire going on up here if we can. Keep these guys going. Are we winning combat? Oh, we are. This guy's going to get run off the field. Looks like we got that under control up there. They're taking way too much damage over here. We're not really taking much damage at all. Our skellies, our skelly archers are out of ammo. Yeah, there we go. A unit has been wiped out. Yeah, that's fine. These guys are in combat now. Okay, their lord just broke. We're going to have one unit stay. And the other unit will run them off the field. Okay, there we go. We got the uh, we got the middle. All we really need now... There we go. We got some shatters. <laughs> okay, we, uh, we can't let them get back up in here, can we? <laughs> they managed to uh, take the tower slightly when this guy ran by. These guys are still fighting. That'll get us some nice heals. Okay, good, 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 good. Run this guy out. Don't let him come back. Okay, where's our, where's our infantry? Come on, guys, get in here. We don't want to give up the center. Okay, let's uh, let's hold the center here. We're doing fine over there where we're holding all that stuff. Oh, I buffed the wrong unit, darn it. I clicked on the wrong thing. Yes, I know it will soon be... No! Okay, that's our chariots. For a second, I thought it was theirs. Let's go hit the death hag. Okay, and then let's get like back in here. Come on, guys. Get in here faster, please. We're almost there. Oh, he's back. He's back. Oh, and they're they're coming this way. Ah, no, 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 no. We don't want them to get in here. Uh, where's Kotep? Let's get over here, Kotep. Get over here with these guys. Uh, I guess we can smash through right there. Okay, he's broken again. Okay, we got to hit them before they get in here. Oh. No, don't let them take it from us. Go, chariots, go. Okay, yeah. Okay, we got all of these units here. On their lord. Or on the death hag, I'm sorry. Okay, we shattered that unit. We've blocked these guys. Oh, he's back. <laughs> 14, more, uh, 14 more victory points. Come on. Give it to us. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha. I, I did not think we'd be taking this with the chariots, but, you know, I'll, I'll take it under whatever circumstances are available. <laughs> it's their fault, really. They just left the uh, the one person, Bill Nenya. Nenya Business was uh, protecting the center there, and she just didn't do a good enough job. And we are no longer at war with the lizards, so we could think about just holding this settlement, which I think is what we're going to do. If we're lucky, they've built some sort of a recruitment building in it for us so we can get some more archers and some other skeleton units. I want to sack it. Like, I really do want the money. But... 
I want to get most of our money from uh, from raiding and sacking settlements us. that we're not going to occupy. And since I think we're going to occupy this, we'll just take the occupy for the jars. Mission successful. We got uh, 20 more jars, so we got 50 jars total from this battle, and an extra 800 in our treasury. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, I did that totally backwards. Oh, I still can't get there on this one turn, huh? Well, that's fine. I can't make it there. Okay, well, we're going to get there next turn. And then that's going to leave them with just this down here. This is probably like level 1 or level 2 at most. What did we get out of this? Uh, we got the resource building. We've got this little uh, money building. And then, oh, yes, they built it for us. This is perfect. I still want to build the other one up here, but like we've we've got it right now. We can replace units with Tomb Guard. What's our capacity for Tomb Guard? Four units of Tomb Guard. Oh, and a unit of Tomb Guard uh, Hellbeards. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna disband these three skeleton units, and we're gonna go bop bop bop. Get Tomb Guard. And that puts us at 19... Oh, we lost a unit of Skeleton Spears, too. That's right. Let's see. One more unit of Archers, maybe? One more unit of Archers. We're going to go a little bit more Missile Heavy. And then we'll put the Nehekara Warriors and the remaining Tomb Guard in this army after we take Solfar Et. Okay, and we can't recruit anything extra, right? We're at our, our capacity here for all these. We are... We got a follower and skill points. Uh, let's see, that's pretty good. Uh, this is pretty good too. Actually, it's kind of nice. Uh, and we've got this. Hmm. Hmm. I think looking at our army comp uh, composition down here. Let's go ahead and do this, because we do have two of the Screaming Skull Catapults. And this is going to affect Bone Giants, which are also awesome units. And so, like, later on, we'll probably have a couple Catapults and maybe a Bone Giant or two in this army. So I think it's worthwhile to go down the Arrows of Asaf, if that's how you say that. Over here, with this guy, he's got increased mobility and the Jars and pretty much all this other stuff. Let's see... Let's give him a an increase to melee attack. And we've got just about everything we could think like we really want out of this guy here, right? Except maybe some of this stuff. Uh, enemy hero action success chance, minus 5%. Enemy characters in region. And we have a plus 5 ambush success chance. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. So I think we're going to do that. We kind of did something a little bit different with this guy. Oh, because he wasn't high enough level, so I think we went into here. Or is that right? I'm not sure why. I don't remember. Doesn't really matter. Okay, and then let's pop back over here. And let's just look. Can they, can they get into this settlement? I don't think they can. No, they can't. So uh, I think we're guaranteed to get this, and then and then it's going to be battles with uh, with Marathi. Now, what we want to do? Oh my gosh, look at his garrison. Oh boy, it's going to be hard to crack our way through here. So I think what we want to do is we want to move up here and just go into a raiding stance and just raid Marathi for a bunch of income. And if we can get our jars sufficiently high enough, then we can get a third army uh, using this right here. So I don't think we want to go to Marathi uh, straight away. I think we want to raid her for a little while. And possibly, if we can, even get this building here up to the third level. Of course, we gotta we got to spend money to do all this, right? Uh, let's see. What is our growth? 21 turns, that's pathetic. 
All right, we're going to drop in a growth building here. Spend the rest of our money. Darn it. And we got four turns left on this dynasty. That looks fine to me. Uh, next turn or two, we should be able to come down here and wipe these guys out. Oh, and we could probably get trade. Uh, well, we'll settle for a non-aggression pact. They're not going to go for it, huh? And get trade with Marathi. Yeah, I don't want that. If we get trade with Marathi, then when we want to attack her, we'll have to wait. We'll have to cancel the trade agreement and wait 10 turns. And, like, we, we want to be able to attack her up here and get this city at the first possible um, opportunity, is what I'm trying to think of. So we don't want a, a an existing trade agreement stopping us from doing that. So that's why we're not going to do that. Right? Right. Uh, let's see. Beastmen have been destroyed. Are there any other, like, little Beastmen factions that we know about? Like, these guys are up there. They're happy with us. We have a non-aggression pact. Yeah, come on. We get non aggression? No, not yet. I hope they don't have walls. Okay, good. We'll auto resolve this. Boop. And occupy. This is also ours. Now we got a little bit extra money because they built a port for us. They were nice enough to build that up. Excellent. And so we can get one. Two, let's add a unit of archers. So we could get rid of like five of these. Burp. One, two, three. This is this is where that awesome research at the very end. Look at this. We have all these global recruitment slots and everything is one turn. Fantastic, right? That's pretty good. And so now we're gonna have a pretty decent force here. We should have positive public order. We don't. Why not? Corruption? It's gotta be the corruption, right? Oh man, we gotta get we gotta get back up there and get a handle on that. So I'm gonna turn off the taxes for now to buy us a little bit of time. We're gonna bring this guy down this way. Uh, spend the skill point. go sun scorched bones and we got three turns here on this dynasty dynasty yeah it looks good Do not trade agreement oh look at that yeah you know what i'll give you 100 gold for this that's excellent that's fantastic we'll take that And we still... Oh, Faction Destroyed. So Ildritor, they're gone. Yes. So uh, the Lizards must have taken that settlement, which means we now share a border. And maybe we can get trade agreement. Oops. And maybe we want to think about uh, going up and trying to raid in Marathi's lands. But if we can take this... This is the... Uh, up here, let's go look at it real quick. It would be this one? No, it would be occupy the following settlement, the ancient city of Quintox. Unit capacity plus five for tomb guard, tomb guard halberds, and skeleton chariots, and army capacity increases as well. That's that's huge. That's huge. And look at this, our canopic jars is almost at 800. So we are like really close to where we need to be here. Okay, they're still not ready to trade with us. Oh, come on, you obnoxious lizards. I really... We need trade, okay? We need it. We need trade and non-aggression. Uh, non I don't want to have to worry about fighting you guys. I will give you all my money just for the non-aggression. Uh, simply because I don't want you to change your minds and turn on us. But it's not good enough for them. It's not good enough. Uh, so let's see. Here's a way we could get some money, right? We go pick up some of these things. 
There's a few of them up here. Wow, there's some even way up there. But we're not going to be able to make it that far north. So we got one, two, three, four, like right here in our immediate vicinity, right? And we're at positive public order over here. We're earning 429 per turn. So I think, I think the correct thing to do is to come down here and pick these up, right? Makes sense. There we go. 1,200 and experience. Oop. Easy level there. And now let's uh, let's head off to go get this one. Like way. Uh, let's go this way first. I'll just go grab this. Come on, you guys. I was, I was hoping for some reason they changed their mind uh, from us picking up that little uh, that little treasure. Uh, we'll get this one again, which reduces the enemy hero action success chance. Because getting hindered by enemy agents is one of the more annoying aspects of this game. And is 3,000 enough to start building? We need four. We need four. Our public order is, like, barely positive. Now, what's this at? Minus 39? I want to come up here and start raiding. But that's really not going to do us any good. Uh, we could pop in here and we could try to grab this one. Maybe that's what we ought to do with, with Katet. Maybe we ought to just like pop into the water. Yeah, we'll grab a little extra money. That'll give this settlement some time to get a little bit more pissed off. And, um, you know, they'll have a rebellion. We'll squish it. Yeah, we're not going to do this. Okay, so we're almost there. Next turn, we can get this one and maybe that one. Probably not, though. Settlement upgrade. Did I remove this guy? I must have. Yeah, I did. Uh, we could even take Katep and swing around this way, but then that might give this rebellion too many turns to ramp up and get dangerous. Anybody else we could trade with? Pretty much all the elves. Right? So this is 51, that's 61, 64, 65, 48. Let's go for Lothern right off the bat. At your service. The dead come calling. What do you seek? Non-aggression, moderate, trade. As you say. Hey, look at that. Uh, who else? Who does Lothern like? They're at war with Safri, so we don't want to trade with Safri. Although Safri has 14 settlements. They could You're win. The Hecaran. Present your plea. <laughs> it's usually not smart to uh, to get trade agreements in such a non-discriminate manner like this. Let's see, you gonna change your mind? Because we're getting a little bit more wealthy here, lizard guy. Oh, the pirates. Greetings. They should be able to hang around for a long time because they're just way off here on their settlement. Not in my name. But they don't want to deal with skeletons. I am the bright flower of the goddess. Chosen of Isha. Are you like Wood Elves or something? Serving the gods. Yeah, look at this. Can I come and join me? We're getting money. And the tomb kings have We're getting some discover. money. They a don't want the non-aggression pack. That's fine. I wasn't gonna come attack you anyways. That's yeah, fine. Let's see. Defend. Speak, undead. State yeah. your request okay, and then return good. to your death. Very well. Uh, should we go for some dark elves like Dracula Coven? Uh, not Marathi though. They still don't want anything to do with us. Okay, well. Hey, look at that. 707 per turn. That's that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. And we got two turns here on the Dynasty. We can perform a right. Which one is it? This is a very good ritual, actually. If we end up at war with the Lizards, this is probably the best way to defeat them. Just have them lay siege and then use this Great Incantation of Kassar. And as long as they don't attack, they'll just take a ton of attrition. And that's probably a lot easier than trying to fight them with skeletons. Alright, Heshwaddle's going to war with the Blue Vipers. We could use that to our advantage. We can we can join war against the Blue Vipers to get a uh, trade agreement or non-aggression pact with Heshwaddle. Uh, maybe.
Uh oh. Where? Everywhere? Because if it's everywhere. Ah, oh man, we're going to have a rebellion up here now. Darn it. Oh, money, money, money. Uh, upkeep minus 10%. That doesn't really do us much. With, uh, with Tomb Kings, does it? Okay, we're going to go ahead. We're going to do that. We need that building done. And let's see. That's attrition. This is everywhere's attrition. Oh boy, minus thirty. We need to get. We need to get over here right now. Because we're gonna have some elves to fight. Where's our little guy? Bring him on home. Now we could uh, later send a hero way down like over here and uncover the last defenders and some other factions, but um, I want to get the Lich Priests kind of back in here for their their cleanse corruption. We need to get rid of this chaos corruption. Uh, if we can't get rid of it, our, our heroes and lords are going to start to go insane, uh, which is a pretty terrible trait that they can end up with. We don't want that. Let's see, that's 2,000. How many turns up here for this? Three, and then we need like 6,000. So we're not going to upgrade this settlement just uh, quite yet. We're going to hold up. Oh, this is down at one turn. I almost I almost didn't catch it. Okay, so that's one. Wasn't this at two earlier? Am I crazy? Uh, let's see. Now where do we want to go? Uh, I guess they're all as good as any other. We'll do this one. Or, uh, you know what? This one gives public order and construction cost reduction for the town center buildings. Let's do Wisdom of the Third Dynasty. And you can see our research rate is still is above 100%. So we're getting through these uh, middle line researches a lot faster than if we went all the way through these. Um, of course, it makes the, the beginning of the campaign much harder because we're fighting everything with crappy skeletons in one army. But... I think overall it is the uh, the better strategy. Um. Mm, nah. They want a hundred from. All right, fine. Fine. Uh, Trace has been destroyed. I'm not sure if we were trading with them or not. I can't remember. Yes, okay. Public order right here. Rebellion guarantee. So what we want to do is get right in here and replenish. Pick this up. Money. A little bit. A little bit of money. Is he now? Uh, we could do chariots with this guy and then try to give him some war sphinx later in the game. Yeah, it seems good to me. Doesn't really matter that much, right? Okay, where's our uh, our little hero here? Oop, I'm gonna bring him over. Okay. Yeah, so pretty much as soon as this is done, like a, a turn or two after, we'll be able to uh, upgrade to the next building. And that will increase the number of Tomb Guard and Tomb Guard with Halbeards that we can field. And then we could think about uh, going up after the ancient city of Quintex uh, pretty soon. Here it is, the trade agreement. They finally want this. Good. We knew that would happen eventually. Uh, but it is also important that we try to get a non-aggression pact with them. And some factions, uh, the Skaven, have declared war against Nagaron and some of their allies. And so far, uh, let's see. 
Uh, we'll take the... Oh, 10 turns. Ah, oh, man. It sucks. All right, we'll take the casualty replenishment penalty. Obtain the following animals, exotic resources. So now we got a little bit more in our treasury and some more jars. That puts us above 800 jars. All right? And so as soon as we get 10,000, we can get another army. Okay? So we're, we are in good shape here. We're doing good. Let's go, uh, let's go scoop this one up. Boop. Another 1,200. Yes. Okay, good. It's all, it's all starting to come together now, right? I really feel like it is. Yeah, we want to uh, just wipe these guys out real fast. That'll resolve. Let's see. We're going to take the money and the campaign movement range. And we've unlocked another Regiment of Renown. So we should be able to get up there like within three turns. I hope it's fast enough. Oh, man. Okay, I'm going to start building this. And maybe we'll end up canceling it. It's going to set us back on getting this built, but... Um, the Rebellion's gonna spawn, and it's gonna take a couple turns to get to full strength, and it'll be about as many turns as it takes for this building right here to be completed. And I just want to make sure that we get up there with Katep in time to, uh, stave off the, uh, loss of that settlement. We don't want to lose it. Okay, go in there. And looking good. Hero not moved right over here. Bring him onto the shore. I probably should have brought him in up there. That's okay. And then what's our public order down here? Okay, let's turn taxes off for right now. We're, we're getting a little bit out of this settlement. Not quite enough. Uh, but we want to give our, our navy, the other our second army that's in the uh, ocean, we want to give it enough time to like get into the settlement and start providing the public order bonus. And then we want to like move it up to here or maybe over here to soul for I'm not sure which one, but uh, we need an army down here for the public order control in the settlement. Boy, are you serious? These are two terrible uh, choices. Well, let's give up the 40 jars because we're going to get 30 when we squish the rebellion. And now we're going to have another rebellion in here in this settlement. So we need to... Get all the way up into here. Whew. Look how far we can move. We can move pretty far. All right. And then we're cruising way up to here to go attack Hotmus. And we're getting 831 per turn. And we're going to send this guy right there. Does he have cleanse corruption? He does. And <laughs> that's it. That's all we could do. Do we have a garrison building here? No. Now, I think this army, if it can reach it, can wipe out this Chaos Rebellion on this uh, on this upcoming turn. Maybe not, but we'll, we'll find out soon. And hopefully Katep can get all the way up there and hit that army. Wound recovery time. Moves that on Bafra. That would be this guy. Oh, let's see. We've got all the jars. Let's go ahead and... Ooh. Uh, yeah, you know, let's do the physical resist. Oh, we can't quite get there, huh? We can't quite get into our settlement either. 
Oh, no. All right, so here's what we'll do. We'll go like right up to 27%. Go into an ambush stance. It doesn't really matter that much what we do, to be honest. And we're gonna deploy this guy up here so we can kind of see what Marathi's doing. That's right, promising student. Okay, this rebellion has had two turns to gather troops, so I'm gonna imagine that they're gonna have some Ushabti and maybe a Sphinx. Who knows what? Let's see what we got here. Yeah, they got a Necro Sphinx. They got some sepul sepulchral stalkers. I'm gonna have trouble with that. Ushabti, quite a few units, and Necropolis Knights, and Tomb Guard. We don't even get our our garrison. We're gonna fight this one manually. Cause I think it's just gonna take the manual touch. And I'm kinda wishing I put the Tomb Guard with the Hellbeards in this force now because um because of the Necrosphinx. Who do we have that's anti large? Anybody? I don't think we have any anti large. Oh boy. Um, I have a feeling they're going to come to us, even though we're attacking. So I'm just going to deploy, like, way back here and force them to do that. And we'll put spears on the flanks and our regular tomb guard. Actually, maybe we'll put this regiment a renown and try to intercept something of theirs on the flanks. They are going to be hitting us in the flanks. That is a given. Protect. So obviously we want to hit their War Sphinx with all of our uh, missile fire if we can. Oh goodness. Oh, this this is very powerful. Uh, unfortunately. Let's see, watch this. It's going to wipe out like half this unit, maybe. That yeah, was a little bit behind them. Okay, we want to hit the uh, the Tomb Guard back there. Their other unit of Tomb Guard is way over there. So this is why I deployed the Regiment of, of Renown unit over here. Because they do appear to be wanting to come this way. Let's, let's go see if we can kill their Lord with our Chariot crew. And if we can accomplish that, then everything of theirs will start to crumble. Okay. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Damage resist. This is really not going to do a whole lot of damage to any of their stuff. Oh, gosh. Um, here, you can get that. Get in here on these guys. Get in right on their back. We must wipe out the uh, the Sphinx. Oh gosh, kill the Sphinx, please. Oh boy, he's, he's absolutely wrecking us over here. Okay, all that stuff is ranged, so... There are chariots over there. that there. Oh no, are they now deciding to come in over here? Please knock that guy out. And then let's shoot the uh, the tomb guards way back there. I think the, uh, no, I was going to say, I think the Necro Sphinx is down, but no, he's right here. He's almost down. He's going to go down right now. There we go. 
Now, where's that regiment of renown? Let's bring them over here. We'll send these guys uh, out this way. Chase them, please. Regiment of renown, right here. That's gonna get us some healing. Who's really losing bad? This unit right there. We'll drop that right there. And then we got some awesome magic resist, or damage resist right there for that unit. All right, they, uh, they caught us. So let's get out of here with our chariots. That's been fortunate. We've managed to keep a whole unit of halberds just out of the fight. Okay. This unit's almost uh, destroyed right here. The sepulchral stalkers. Now we can hit these guys. Let's uh, get on here on the Ushabdi. The Tomb Guard with Halbeard are crumbling. And now the other Halbeard unit back here, taking all that damage. Okay. And we'll redirect fire of our missile units like over this way. And then all of our lords can come over here. Uh, chariots a little bit faster. There we go. Everything's starting to crumble and fall apart. Yes, there we go. Tomb Guard just collapsed. Didn't even have to fight them. And now their lord just like crumbled to dust and gave up. Sometimes I like to trace little waves and bumps in here. I don't know why. <laughs> so uh, we're getting close to about like where I want to end this episode. Maybe a couple more turns, maybe around like an hour and 10, hour and 15. And you know, I just want to see like how long is it really going to take us to get in a position where we can attack the ancient city of Quintex. I don't think we'll be able to do it this episode. Uh, let's take the jars. Because we, we gave up 40 jars, and now we just got 30 back. Uh, we're still at full strength. We'll go ahead. We'll pop in here. Uh, mostly for an, an increase in public order. We can turn our taxes back on, too. Get an extra 173. All right, so we're going to cancel this building, and we're going to start building this one now. And then we'll spend 600 here. Next turn, we'll start upgrading this, and then we'll worry about getting 4,500 to upgrade the, uh, the walls here a little bit further. Right? Right. What all do we got in here? Anything? Oh, look, we just got 2,000 for that. Cool. So then we'll upgrade this right now. That's what we'll do. Perform the following right. Great incantation of Ksar. Well, that costs 3,000, and then we only get 1,000 back. So that's not very economical to do at this point. What about a little bit of extra trade? Non-aggression with you guys. Can we get that finally? We could probably get it if we joined war against the Blue Vipers, but I don't want to do that quite yet. Let's do this for the increased research rate. We'll do that here too. An extra four percent. Not gonna matter much. Uh, it brought these one. This used to be thirteen. Now it's twelve, and this one's twelve. So it brought them down by one turn. Some of the some of the research dynasties. And we're earning a thousand per turn. So in nine turns, if we don't spend any money, uh, we could actually get a another force because we have enough jars. So you know it might be worth it to not build not build the building here and just go for a third army that might be worth it this looks like it's like a lopsided battle but it'll actually be kind of hard to win Especially if they have a hell cannon. 
which they usually do. This time they don't. Oh boy. Uh, I don't like this. I don't like these odds. I don't like them. Uh, so here's what we'll do. We'll just we'll just swing around and get in the settlement. Public order is still plus eight. Yeah, okay, we're gonna get move. We're gonna have more tomb guards soon, very soon. Let's bring this guy back in here. Yeah, just a couple turns, we'll be able to get a an army up. So again, now we're kind of back in like a little bit of a rebuilding phase where the campaign, you know, kind of slows down briefly. Um, but, you know, soon soon we'll have like four armies and we'll still have 100% research rates. So, I mean, that's a, that's a good start to the campaign. I'm happy with that. Uh, mission issued. We have 13 turns to complete that. Fine. Now, our garrison will come out and help us, but it's probably not going to be that much of a help. Uh, I suppose we could probably just auto resolve this, but let's wait. Let's bring uh, let's bring Katep over. Are we still at positive public order over here? Just barely. And we're gonna have slightly more growth. Okay. You recruit anybody? No. We got 950 jars. Ha 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 ha. Six turns here on this dynasty. Again, we want to bring it all the way down to one turn and then go um, over to the other dynasty. Uh, that's at 12 turns of research. And then all of those middle lines will be down at one turn. And then we can just start um, finishing them up as we need the uh, benefits and things that are inside of them. If that makes any sense at all. Okay, so we got that. Here's a nice simple auto resolve. We'll get a lot of experience out of this. Yay. Uh I'm gonna take the jars. Because after we get this next army, we're going to want to be using jars to start doing some crafting for some of those better items that are in there. So that's why we'll do that. Uh, we're going to ignore Gray Rock Point. We're going to ask the lizards once again for non-aggression pack. We'll just keep bothering them with this until they agree. Uh, plus two. Okay, we need uh, we need this person over here. To help with the cleansing of corruption. Gosh, I really want to build this stuff. Okay, one more turn here, and we're gonna have uh, some more tomb guard that we can bring in. Okay, five turns. We can also. Oh man, five thousand though. I don't want to spend it. I don't want to spend it. I want a casket of souls, but I don't want to spend five thousand. I want the uh, I want the next army more. I want the next army more. So, oh, and then Marathi just left the ancient city of Quintex uh, undefended, or she's fighting a battle against somebody over here. Oh man, I hope the high elves aren't moving in to take this. Uh oh, that could be happening. We may we may have been too slow, and then we would have to fight. Uh, high elves. Why is this going down? Oh, the uh, the military crackdown bonus is disappearing. Okay, so next turn it'll be z uh, zero. Then we'll turn off the taxes. All right, let's bring uh, Katep up this way. I want to see what's going on up here. And I guess we can kind of raid Marathi a little bit too. This guy will stay in here because otherwise we'll have a uh, hideous public order. We'll turn on taxes in there. Bring this guy up this way more. And what's going on up here? Is this all just raised? It could be Skaven. 
Could be Skaven. We, we just need a little bit more money. I want to turn you around and make sure that you're in our settlement. Yeah, we'll get that. And we'll go ahead. We'll get uh, we'll get the physical resist. Three turns. Three turns, or four turns. Who are these guys? Fregnus. Somebody must be completing a ritual or trying. Okay, it must be Skaven up here. They want non-aggression pact with us. Um, they're willing to pay a thousand for it. They are currently at war with factions we dislike. So let's go ahead. Let's accept this. That was Clan Rictus. So if it turns out that they're all up in here, we're not going to be able to uh, take this stuff without breaking that non-aggression pact and waiting ten turns. Vessels of Chaos passing through. Positive plus four. We're at uh, zero. We can do one more turn of this. We're almost there. We're going to be at like 9,500 next turn. Uh, we can cruise in halfway here. We'll do that. And start raiding. Get us a little bit extra. So we're going to be able to get this next army really fast here. Three turns left on this. Oh, you know what? I forgot to recruit more Tomb Guard. Well, maybe we'll want to put them in the uh, new army that we're going to make. Because it is going to have to guard our settlement like up over here. Uh, Canopic... Ooh, uh... Da, 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 da. You know, we're doing pretty good with money right now. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to just... I'm going to take the jars. Jars are everything. All right. So let's go... Let's go peek up here. What are you guys up to? Nobody's in this. But they manage... It, it no longer has the really weak garrison they managed to get a proper garrison in it so look at that two thousand per turn two thousand per turn uh we still can't get that army yet we're not quite there yet one more turn uh we've lost another trade agreement we've lost a couple of them Oh, no, I let the research finish. Oh, well, that's okay. That's okay. We'll still be at pretty close to 100% research rate. I let it finish. I wasn't paying attention to it. Darn it. No, I let it finish, didn't I? Oh, no, it's at one. <laughs> okay. Woo, I thought, it, I thought it finished. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's do... Uh... This makes our Ushabdi and Necrofinx and War Sphinx units better. So let's go ahead and do Wisdom of the Sixth Dynasty. Woo! Okay, right in here. Here it comes. 800 jars, 10,000. Boom! We will awaken a force. Yeah, look at that. That's awesome. The next one costs 20,000 and 1,600, though. Ouch. Uh, if we want to raise it through that uh, mechanic. Yeah, I thank you for having him selected. Get back in there. Okay, I think we need another army over here to uh, to make our way through this. There's just no way this is going to happen with that force all by itself. And so what we'll do is we'll come up here to Tyrant Pink. And who do we want? We'll get this guy. Uh, no, actually, he's not that great. Let's get this guy. Nah, this guy with the physical resist. It's not a whole lot of physical resist, but it's better than nothing. Okay, what can we give you? Uh, yeah, two Tomb Guard. Tomb Guard with um, Halbeards. 
two of the warriors there. A unit of carrion, why not? One, two, three of those. And that's going to help our... Oh, I forgot to turn taxes off there. All right, taxes are coming off. And... I'm going to wait until we get uh, 5,000 because I want to get the Casket of Souls because it's basically an artillery piece. And then we'll use these two armies together and we'll try to take the ancient city of Quintex. Uh, hopefully before they confederate with Nagaron. They are still their own faction right now. So we'll ignore that. We'll ignore that. We are researching a new dynasty chain and we don't have anybody to recruit. So we got two more turns of uh, basically recruiting and gathering money. We'll get the Casket of Souls. We'll head over and try to take the ancient city of Quintex. And then we'll start upgrading our settlements. And once we take the city, we're going to basically be at war with the next uh, major faction that will be fighting this campaign. That's going to be Marathi as long as they don't confederate. We got about two or three turns uh, where they have time to confederate with Nagaron, which could happen. Yeah, let's see what everything looks like. Yeah, we got positive public order there. Plus six over here. And we just need to finish recruiting here. And then this army will be able to move that way. That's going to be it for this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know with comments or thumbs up. You can consider subscribing if you're not already. Follow me on Twitter. Sometimes I communicate with people that way. Other than that, hope you had enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. You have a good afternoon. And take care.